What we got here today, we're going to do a little unboxing for you. Just arrived. So, let's see what we got. The Pike Wingman Vest Pro. The Pike Wingman Vest Pro. So, this came with the water bottle holder and the Camelback Rain Sport bottle. This combo was $49.95 for a water bottle holder that apparently straps onto your belt. This little enclosure here, little snap enclosure, this goes over your belt. I'm assuming that's the function. Makes sense. And then the Camelback rain bottle sits in that. And there you go. So $49.95 from Pike Gear, their Camelback rain and water bottle holster that accompanies their Pike Wingman Best Pro. I got the large, my way size, that's the 36 to 40 inch range, I believe. Looks like I've got a little, it says a gift from Pike to your best friend. So I got a little dog biscuit here for my dog. Take, it says tag a picture of your dog or your Pike gear with hashtag Pike dog on Facebook or Instagram for a chance to win a gift card. So, there you go. Comes with it. Yay you. Promote Pike. Take a picture, post it on Instagram, get a chance to win a gift card. So let's break open this bag and take a look at this vest. Again, this is the Pike Wingman, Wingman Vest Pro. I ordered the option that came with one zipper pocket and one shell pocket. This model combination cost $325. So $325 for the vest with the zipper pocket. Sorry, turn that around so you can see it's just got a zipper on the top for storage. And a zipper on the front for storage. So it's got a couple different options for putting items in here you don't want to lose. This again attaches to your belt just like the water bottle with a couple of different snap loops here. You can see that water bottle, sorry, the zipper pocket. Looks like a pretty good size pocket. Should be able to fit quite a bit of stuff in there. So there you go, there's the zipper pocket. And then the shell pocket, a nice little Pike logo on it. Eh, don't like that. But that's the option. So this is your shell pocket. Supposedly you can fit a box of shells in here. It seems a little tight for a box of 12 gauge shells especially, but we'll give it a run and, and see what happens. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm thinking a of a different manufacturer that says you can drop a, a box of shells in there. Probably works, but uh, not really a big fan of Velcro pockets. So the Pike shell pocket, Velcro enclosure, double snap loops on the back to go on your vest. There we go. So we've got the zipper pocket, the shell pocket, our Pike Lingman Pro vest. Supposedly, you go to the instructional video on YouTube to figure out how to attach your pockets. If you have any issues with that, they've got a link on here for you to YouTube. And check that out so you can figure out how to snap those pockets on right sit on that so it doesn't blow away. All right, so made in the USA. Proud of that. Glad that uh, we're getting some products back in the USA. All for that. So we got the vest. Looks like a decent range of adjustment. Well, not a whole lot of adjustment on the vest. Height. Front loops, buckles here for your adjustment on the front straps. For your height on your vest. Fairly easy to adjust that. 
front strap for your chest. Now this is going to take some getting used to. Very lightweight. The straps have absolutely no padding at all until you get to the shoulders. It's just the lightest little bit of padding on the shoulders themselves. A little bit of a felt internal cloth there. Looks like that'll help with rubbing and issues that could occur from that digging in. Um, not a massive game pocket. You can expand the game pocket. Nope. That's just your height adjustment on the back. So your game pocket in the back, kind of small. I mean, in comparison to the water bottle itself, I'm not sure what that is. That's about nine inches. So that water bottle is about nine inches wide. I'm going to give this maybe 14 or 15 inch wide pocket for the game pouch. Um, so you can't adjust it at all. Inside of the game pouch, there is a pocket for a water bladder. You could use a water bladder in here. You drop it in there, loop the hose up to the top hole here. But then once you get to that point, you're kind of you're kind of stuck because I don't see any loops or enclosures on the front of the straps for a water bottle hose for that hydration bladder. So not really sure um, that I like that because what are you going to do there? You're just going to leave the hose hang off the side, I guess. I mean, you could probably use a couple of zip ties to put your hose on the strap one way or the other. At least it's got a hole in the top of the pocket that allows you to run the hose up through from the bladder. All right, so on the back, get your Pike logo and a, zip, a big zipper pocket for more storage. So that does not come out the top, so you're definitely not going to be using that to run your water bladder out. Might have been a better option, actually, because um, it gives you more height on that. There's not a lot of height in this inside pocket. It's maybe seven or eight inches tall in here to drop your bladder in there. No extra loop on the inside either, so most of those hydration bladders from Camelback come with a hook on the top that allows you to hook that bladder so that it feeds to the bottom of the bladder. There is no option for that here. I guess you could try to run it out the top and hook it on one of these back straps, but that's going to be kind of a push. Or you could hook it to the inside or the outside of this little hole itself. Anyway, so this pocket is not massive. Um, it is not lined with anything that would be waterproof. So anything you put in this pocket, we'll put it to the test, is probably going to get wet. I'm not sure. There might be some kind of a coating on this that allows it to be waterproof or makes it waterproof. But the zippers are nice. They've got a nice little loop handles on the zippers to make that easy to grab those and unzip it, zip it back up. Little side panels, orange panels, so not a lot of safety orange on the Pike gear pack. Pretty good size panel on the back. I'm not sure if that's going to meet your state compliance for square inches of hunter orange, but the belt. Okay, so nice size buckle on the front. So that's going to be pretty beefy. I've seen people complain about buckle size. This seems to be about the average size buckle. This seems to be close to the buckle size on my other vest that I use from Orvis. But uh, seems like it's well made. Little loop enclosures or a little uh, loops here to put your excess belt on if you are a little bit thinner. You can run that back the smaller size that way it's not flopping around on you so there's your belt in the front we've got a couple of different spots here to hook gear on so I guess if you put your pockets on 
and you want to hook your lanyard for your GPS or your, your dog remote, uh, a walkie-talkie, anything that you should hook on here. Some kind of a loop, a loop enclosure on the front here on this belt. So, uh, anyway, so that's what we've got. Uh, and hard to get apart. So my shell pocket will be on the left. Run this through. So let just give you a real close look here. I'm gonna run this down through both of these as they instructed on their little enclosed instruction panel. So we've got that through the top and bottom of your mold. I forgot to mention that this comes with the mold belt uh, option so you can attach all kinds of different pouches. I think they have different options that you can get through Pike. I haven't looked through all of the different options. I just looked at the options that were available with this vest as a package. So get these both through those mold loops and snapped on. And we'll throw this bad boy on and see how it feels. Not too bad, getting those fed through. Zip. All right. And snapped into place. Pretty easy. 30, 45 seconds if I wasn't explaining that to you. Now oh, the zipper pocket. I'm thinking about the same spot. I've got that three or four loops back. That's good. Those are awful beefy. They hold on real well. When they snap together, they're not coming apart real easy. So that's that's pretty nice to know. It's good. It's good to know that. You know, you're snapping a snapping a pocket on a vest strap, belt strap, and you're running around through thick cover. One of these just apparently comes apart, and then the other one you don't notice it, and all of a sudden you're you're missing an entire pocket. That's not going to be good. It looks like this is a little bit wider. So on, maybe not, maybe I did that wrong. Let's go ahead and, so air, I ran the straps for that shell pocket through two of those loop enclosures side by side. It looks like it needs to go one over, so. Let's fix that real quick on the shell pocket. Get that in place. Anyway, so yeah, it would really be a bummer to lose a pouch because if the snaps were holding on really well. So that's, that's better. It's nice. And it, it was a little bunched up when I had it side by side on those loops, so I spaced it out. ready to hold a box of shells. Let's go back to the other side and finish putting on the glue in my ear. Just putting on this zipper pocket. So we've got both of those run down through, ready to go. Like I said, leave one of the leave a loop in between for the best fit, the proper fit on these pockets. And go ahead and snap these on. And there you go. Not bunched up, set. Yeah, that's not going to come off without a really violent rip. Maybe a tree limb or something could get in there and pop it, but chances are it's not. So it's good to know. Good heavy duty snaps that hold together well. All right. So it's all together. Eh, forgot to put this on there. What side would I want to carry my single water bottle? So, I actually prefer to carry my dog water in a water bottle when I'm in the field. However, we got this vest to test it out. I am going to run it in the field. I'll have to throw an extra bottle in here. 
because I was not willing to pay without knowing how this was going to work $50 for another water bottle holder. I don't think that that's going to be worth the money. I mean, I can buy a Gatorade water bottle on Amazon for probably anywhere from five to ten bucks. It just doesn't seem like it's worth $50 to me. But I wanted to be fair, I wanted to get one of these and review it and use it and see how it functions and be able to give you guys some honest feedback. So let's put it on. See if we can get it to fit. I have to step away from the table here. I don't want to put the water bottle on yet because I kind of want to see where I want it. That is super loose. I may have got the wrong size. Skinnier than I thought it was. So let's go ahead and slide this all the way back. And tighten this up to where it might actually fit. Ooh, right down to that 36 inch size. Unfortunately, that puts me at a spot where I've got a lot of belt loop hanging off, but it does look like there is an opening in that mole waist belt to slide that excess belt into. So, nice to know. So, if you have a 34 inch waist and you're thinking, well, 36 inch would probably be the way to go for this vest, I might tell you go regular size instead of their large. Unless you're worried about wearing it with a lot of jacket on, a lot of insulation. So this is the large. It also has those little loops on this chest belt. No adjustment here. I'd like there to be an adjustment here so I can move this up or down on my chest to where I want it. No adjustment. Man, don't like that part. So anyway, this is all the way in. straps no padding so obviously you're not going to have to worry about that getting in the way of your shotgun when you mount it so um, height adjustment all the way just about to where it's done I think I'll probably have to run my shell pocket up a couple of loops on that mole waist belt. Uh, I'm really digging right into the back of my neck here on this. Uh, not liking that already. But we'll adjust those straps on the back too. That might be able to give me a little bit more of an opening on the back so that this back part of the harness isn't digging into the back of my neck and shoulder so let's grab that real quick flip it around yeah well i've got got that cinched up a little bit let's loosen that up and throw that back on it's supposed to ride on your waist so it keeps the weight off your shoulders so it's as tight as I can get it on my waist. Just about as tight as I can get it. Okay, it just wasn't snap. Not a not a fault. So there we are. It's about where I think I would want it. This is still riding kind of high. In the back of my neck and shoulders. You can see that in here. Not super comfortable being dug into already but we need to shoot this shoot with this thing on and see what we think we need to go out and walk around in the field with this on and really put it through the ringer to give you guys honest feedback I want to throw this on real quick though show you guys how that's gonna look with that water bottle on there so I'll be right back. I'm gonna cut to that when it's finished. So you don't have to watch me monkey around with all this adjustment.
Okay, so I got the water bottle on there, about where I think I'm going to want it. It's in between the back of the vest and my front shell pocket. I'm going to leave that tag on there for now, just so you can be reminded every time you look at it right now that it's a Camelback bottle. Snap this back into place. Chest strap back into place. Still really riding on my shoulder, but so there you go. There's the bottle, shell pocket right here. If you're not having to really reach back into Nicholas, shells are right here in front. That's nice. Hopefully it doesn't get in your way when you're carrying your gun. Shell pocket, water bottle. Be interesting to see how that sits in there when you're walking pretty aggressively across the cover. Just try not. So, all right, so there we go. So we've got the pipe wingman vest from Pike Gear. We're gonna give it a go for a couple of hunts this fall. See how we feel about it and give you our honest feedback when we're done. And hopefully what we can cover will give you the information you're looking for to make a good informed decision about what you spend your hard-earned money on. It's made in the USA. We work in the USA. We want to spend our money on stuff that's going to give us the most bang for our buck. It's going to give us the best value for our, our money. So, so this is the Pike Wingman Vest Pro from Pike Gear. Check them out at pikegear.com and see if they've got an option that might work for you or wait until we're done wearing this this fall and watch our review to get more information and feedback on how we feel this performed in the field and any ups or downs we have with it, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We will give you all that information based on our opinion so it's obviously up to you to spend your money on what you feel is going to work best for you. But this this is uh, this is your opportunity to get some feedback from some guys who actually hunt in the field, chase wild birds, and even more than that, um, we want to give you good unbiased feedback on good quality gear that you can use in the field and spend your hard-earned money on and feel good about it. So I've got some other reviews on some other vests available on our YouTube channel, ultimateupplan.com. Check us out there for information about birds, dogs, shotguns, and other gear that you can use in the field to be the ultimate upland hunter that you want to be. And we'll see you in a couple of months to go over the ins and outs of this pike gear. Thanks for watching. Be safe in the field, and we'll see you next time.